Hi guys, good morning and welcome again. This is Primus Learning. My name is Primus Veku. And in this um, edition of the program, we just want to walk you through a little neat tool that AWS has. Some of you may not be aware of it, um, but it is very good, guys. It's very good, especially for those who play around with AWS a lot, those who work in the AWS space and those who, you know, uh, are dealing with AWS resources, managing AWS accounts. So this tool right here, AWS Config, AWS Config is a tool. It records and, and, and gets and evaluates your configurations, your resources, you know, a detailed view of the resources that are associated with your AWS account. And, and you can actually query the resources and get anything that is happening you know, how they are related with one another, how the configurations and relationships have, relationships have changed over time and all of that, AWS Config can do that for you. You can literally see it on the, v on the dashboard here, right? You can come in here and you see what's happening with your resources. You see a general picture of your resources. You see the number of EC2 security groups, EC2 networks, EC2 volumes that are, existing and you can go in and delete this is very good for cost optimization you can go in and delete them you see the rules that it, it has you see these are the rules the resources the various resources that you have you can come in and search by resource categories resource whatever and so on and so forth but that is not the most important service i want to show you guys or the most important feature i want to show you the feature i want to show you is advanced queries this guys is the killer. It has some existing queries that you can look at it at and see, right? Yeah, you see, these are some things that I've, I've done in the past and so on and so forth. But you can literally come in, create your own query and query this thing, guys. So you see, uh, I have a query that I've designed a simple select query. This is a select statement, guys. So select, what am I selecting? I want to select the resource name from this account. So it's about the AWS account you're currently locked in. I want to select the AWS resource name, the resource ID, the resource creation time, the resource type, and the value of the resource, of the resource configuration. So when you do this and run, see what you get. You get the AWS service, all the AWS services, you see up to 500 can it gives you up to 500 you can keep extending up to the last resource in your aws account it gives the resource id you can go to the resource and in it's orderly right all of these are kms after kms you go to code build projects and so on and so forth and many others you see it's up to about 50 or so so it gives you everything about every resource guys you can also query it um just to get maybe uh, let's see, this is an EC2 instance. You can get a count of EC2 instances in your account, right? You can get a count of EC2 instances in your account. So to get a count, this is what you do. You run, run that query that we selected there. So you can design your own queries, all that. Select. So we'll just do a select configuration instance type. And then you want to count the instance types where the resource, I, uh, resource type is equals to EC2 instance. And uh, it should be ordered by instance type or grouped by instance type. And so you just run that. You want to get the number of instances that are running or not running in this account. So you have a count of 19. And these are the instance type. T2 mediums, T2 micros, nanos, and so on and so forth that are running in this account, guys. This is neat. You can continue to break it down to whatever you want. It's, it's just playing around with the query section. They, they actually give you samples in the AWS documentations. All right. So the next thing we want to look at is, you know, just grabbing the currently running instances, instances that are currently running in your AWS account. You do that. And let's paste that and hit run. And you see, there is no instance that's currently running not right now in this region. So there's no instance that's currently running um, uh, in this region. So instance configuration name running. So there's none that's running. All right. 
So let's go and grab the next thing. So you want to see EC2 instances that are attached to a volume. And the volume, you want to define the volume. So you can could do that where volume is da da da. You give the volumes. Maybe you are searching for instances that are attached to a certain volume and the volume ID is something. You have to look for the volume ID. You just give the volume ID and you run, right? You will currently not select anything because we haven't passed the volume ID. You could go search for a volume ID and bring and you will figure, figure it out. And also you could do instances with private DNS, instances that are in private DNS, unused EBS volume. So let's say you want to search unused EBS volumes in your account and delete them. You want to delete all the, okay, these ones are in, in use. All the volumes that are in use or all the volumes that are not in use. So this is not in use. So let's select that and you can do that and run. And you go in and select volumes that, that are not in use. And you see this one is not in use, not in use. And you can go delete them, All right? You, you can go delete them. Uh, so the value in use. Now this one is in use, not in use. I think we want to get not in use. Let's see if not in use is existing. Yeah, it gets those ones that are not in use, guys. So this this is not in use. You have a lot of instance uh, volumes here that are not in use, and we we can delete them. You see, they are costing me a lot, so I'll need to go in there and delete all of these instances, uh, this volume. They are not in use, so I'll go in there and delete all of them right away. So you see how this thing can help you. Um, uh, get get out of money <laughs> that you're spending for nothing. So we'll go in today and delete all of these these volumes because they're costing me for nothing. They have been created and they're they're hanging in there. All right. So you can select uh, uh, S3 where server side encryption is disabled. So maybe you're you're doing security um, uh, audits in your account and you want to figure out hey which which um you know which instances or which s3 buckets do not have server side encryption you can copy that and simply run it or you can get that query and paste here and run so let's do this so there's no encryption in this bucket so, or server side encryption is not enabled so you see there is none or all are enabled but yeah you could you could see, literally come in and do that and you get those that are not encrypted and so this is this is really neat, guys. This tool right here is a very, very neat tool. You just need to play around with it. As you're selecting, so writing the query is really simple, right? As you're selecting, it auto fills for you. And so if you do a select statement here and you want to say resource, what do you want to select? You want to select maybe a resource name and then resource ID, resource creation date maybe you want to see when a particular resource was created resource creation time resource name the resource type so you want to do that and you simply run i think oh <laughs> we didn't do it correct okay so i think it has to be this way maybe let's see so it has to be this way. Oh yeah, they are, they are separated by commas. Okay, I thought it wasn't. Let's see if it figures it out. Yes, so it figures it out had to be separated by commas. And once you do that, it automatically fixes it, um, it in this, it orders it for you. So this is this is it. And you can begin to group them by something that you want to select, right? You can se select according to whatever you want. So this is a neat tool, guys. I love it, I love it. There's no, right, right like cost optimization, you don't need to go in looking for scripts to run, 
right here, this is all you need, these advanced queries. And there's documentation on it, right? You can go to it and see documentations and all the sample queries that it gets for you. You can run it on your terminal. It's, it's all good, guys. So you're using it, you can learn how to use it from here and play around with it. You can use it on the CLI, you can use it anywhere. And you see, these are CLI queries. You can select and get resources. Example queries. These are example queries. Query to list all EC2 instances with AMI ID disk. So you just have to change your AMI ID if you want. This is your use case. Uh, and then you see the results will appear that way. Query to, for count of results grouped by their AWS config rules. So if you have config rules, you can just simply copy these and get them and modify. So these are example queries. You can create yours, guys. And I really, really just love this, this, um, this neat tool. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I just wanted to show you uh, this tool and play around with it. You can go ahead and take a look at it. I'm sure some of you have been trying to get results, uh, resources in AWS, trying to figure out how to you know, monitor and manage cost in your organization through um, uh, maybe Python and so on. So you don't need to write Python any any longer or just for cost optimization. This tool can help you uh, do, do all that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, my name is Primus Veku um, and we are uh, Primus Learning. If you need help, reach out to us at contact at primuslearning.org and we are able to, to help you. Please leave us comments, uh, subscribe to our channel and help share so that um, we can get a lot more people familiar with the AWS tools, with DevOps uh, practices and so on and so forth. Thanks, bye-bye. Um,